Alright, so in this video we want to take a look at how to move logins from one instance to another and this is something that you'll do a lot. So we've got our instances, we've got our default here, right? Uh, the name of our my laptop here, and we've got solo up here. So let's break them out and see what we have. So we have the AdventureWorks database, what do we have here? Nothing. So let's take a look at our, our alright, so we have no logins there. So we've been asked to move the app user AdventureWorks login to this box. All right, so uh, we're not going to do the restore or anything like that. No, we just want to, someone just said, can you move the login over? However, uh, we don't know the password. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right, so yeah, yeah, you can go look at the connection string of the code, uh, but that's not, that's not here. It's just going to be a lot easier to go and hunt down a tool to move logins from server to server without knowing the passwords uh, and Microsoft provides it for us so what do we do we go and we open up Chrome we go to Google and we type in move and you can see that I've typed it before there it is it moves equals to that log it's the first one that comes up and looky here we've got this nice long whoop Stored proc actually to help us move some logins. All right, so we're moving from here. So uh, we're a login store. All right, if you're not new to SQL Server, um, you need to go back and, and hunt and dig up some information on logins. Uh, logins are stored in the system database called master. All right, so we open up our query window and we run it on the source. The source is our AdventureWorks here and it has the login right, login that we want. So if we click over here we execute and we hunt down the SP help rev login. Alright so now we want to execute him and lo and behold, what do we get? We get the login created with the hex, which is the password. Very cool stuff. All right, so now, all we have to do is come up to this box where, all right, we don't, we don't have it. Doesn't exist. We can refresh it. It ain't there. All right. So we come up to the databases, the system databases, the master. We're putting it in the master, right? because that's where the logins are stored. All right. So, run them, now refresh them, and look, there he is. Now let's try to log in to, uh, so let's go to log in connect to, uh, where are we at here? Solo, with that login. There's uh, the app, all right, so, uh, so uh, we moved it to Solo. All right. So let's type it. The password. Uh, yeah, yeah. I know. We're not supposed to know. It. Well, I mean, I know it for here. The demonstration. All right. But promise me. I promise you, it works. Connect, and there we go. All right. You are connected now with the app user AdventureWorks, and just like that. Now, again, now this doesn't that doesn't mean you you have any database access, right? Uh, you come here and you look, and well, if there were some databases, sorry, I could, <laughs> it doesn't mean you have database access. Let's just leave it at that. This video is how to move logins, and I don't want to move any further into that. And we just moved logins thanks to thanks to a script provided by Microsoft that was very easy to find by simply looking up uh, the uh, the keyword search uh, move SQL Server logins. This is what we get, and you will keep this handy, so you'll want to take this script here, all right, uh, and you'll want to save it. I mean, it's saved here because you ran it and, and stored it now in the default database here. So it will be there for you, all right, very cool stuff.